So Scott and I uh, shared this love for David Foster's music and we had an opportunity um, one week, I can't remember the date, but uh, we came down to Southern California where David was uh, going to present a number of his songs and it was kind of a songwriter's uh, symposium or um, workshop type of thing. We showed up. Uh, it was a small club, jam-packed with Los Angeles producers, songwriters uh, that all basically worship David Foster. Uh, we came from San Francisco all the way to Los Angeles just to hear David talk about songwriting and producing. Um, and uh, it was a very exciting night just to hear David talk. Um, and then David introduced uh, uh, his singer, uh, a gentleman named Warren Wiebe. And out comes this very, very shy, unassuming man. Incredible to see people's reactions when Warren first started to sing. Superb, his, his technique was amazing, his dynamics, his phrasing, his uh, feeling. Um, it was really quite stunning. From all these jaded music professionals that had seen everything and uh, they, they thought they knew everything uh, about a good voice and here comes Warren Wiebe um, and just blew everybody away. It was amazing, amazing. Oh actually there's a little anecdote I'd like to tell. Uh, which was that David decided he wanted to play, he was talking about uh, r having written Through the Fire for Shaka Khan. And he was going to play it with Warren singing, but he couldn't quite remember the changes. Uh, he was just having one of those moments. And I literally tipped Scott out of his chair. And we were sitting quite close, uh, maybe the second row or something in the audience and I said David uh, my friend here can play that song we play it every night and I tipped Scott out of his chair Scott rather reluctantly went up on stage and proceeded to play through the fire perfectly of course uh, in Shaka's key which is what we had performed it in and Warren sang the song in Chaka Khan's key, flawlessly, uh, could have been released on a record the very next day. I mean, it was really a quite an exciting uh, night for both of us. The other recollection I had, we uh, invited Warren to come up and sing on some of our demos. Uh, we were blessed that he accepted our invitation to come to San Francisco and sing on our uh, demos. and. Uh, Warren, we met Warren at the airport and he uh, handed us his uh, demo cassette. He said, uh, would you like to hear my, my demo? And we said, yes, of course. So we're driving back uh, to uh, Cecily's house. We put in the demo cassette and for the entire trip <laughs> in the car, Cecily and I are looking at each other with our mouths are hanging open. We'd never heard such an incredible voice, song after song on his demo. Uh, it just blew us away. So you can imagine our excitement. It's like, oh, we have this voice in our car. He's going to sing on our songs and uh, just uh, elevate our music to, to somewhere we've never even hoped of. So uh, that, was, that was the really exciting part about uh, meeting Warren. Again, many years later, uh, I was able to work with Warren on another project that uh, I was doing a songwriting workshop uh, program called In Harmony with the Homeless. And I was co-writing a song with Denise Oso, another very talented writer here in the Los Angeles area, uh, and uh, a formerly homeless young man named J.R. Mancomo. And we wrote a song uh, called this, this Blue Tattoo. And the entire time I was writing, 
with Denise and JR, I was thinking there is no one else who will be able to sing this song with the purity and the feeling and the uh, style, I guess, uh, of Warren. He's the only one who can really do this song justice. So uh, I asked him to come into the studio and sing it and he did a superb job. Um, we did a concert for that project at the Troubadour and um, when we were asked to have our song performed and we had the tracks and we had Warren who came down and sang for us. So there was a, a, an amazing moment, I remember, as Warren stepped out on stage, um, very humble, very shy, um, a bit awkward in a way, and he, he pulled the lyric sheet out of his pocket, his shirt pocket, and he unfolded it. And you could hear these, this sort of wave of whispering in the audience, who is this guy? What is, what is up with, it? Who, who is that, you know? Um, and as the track began, and Warren began to sing, the entire club was struck absolutely dumb. I mean, you could hear a pin drop. And before he even got to the chorus, on the first verse, the entire audience stood up and gave him a standing ovation. It was extraordinary. Um, at the end of that show, we were asked to uh, bring Warren down to, uh, I believe it was KTLA the very next morning. It was right before Thanksgiving. Um, and they asked us to appear on their Thanksgiving show as a feature on this project in harmony with the homeless. And uh, they interviewed Denise and me and Warren sang and again was just superb. Um, again, I I think his voice was one of the great voices of, of our time uh, for pop music, soul music. Uh, he was just perfection. I didn't have to hide behind this new tattoo.